Greetings, Earthling. Welcome to the Coral Finder Toolkit Orientation Movie. In this movie, you will be introduced to the Coral Finder Toolkit, a suite of resources for learning the basics of coral identification. The Coral Finder Toolkit is based around these training and revision movies, the Coral Hub website, and a novel underwater tool called, not surprisingly, the Coral Finder. Using the Coral Finder Toolkit, you can teach yourself to identify the common genera of Indo-Pacific hard corals. The toolkit contains over an hour of free, high-quality video training aimed at helping beginner to intermediate level users to master the basics of coral identification. You can find these movies in English and Bahasa Indonesia on the Coral Hub website. The movies are the copyright and property of the Coral Identification Capacity Building Program. You are welcome to use these movies for non-commercial training purposes. These movies assume that you have a Coral Finder and that you have read its How to Use and Glossary pages. Despite many years of study, hard corals have the reputation of being difficult to identify. Only in the year 2000 was the first global synthesis of coral taxonomy published, Corals of the World. But even with this massive three-volume treatise, coral identification is not widely known or practiced by divers. Why? Part of the problem is practical. Obviously, you cannot take a three-volume paper book underwater. But the root of the problem lies deeper than that. Even if you could take the book underwater, the information itself is not arranged in a way that's friendly for humans to solve problems of comparison. The heart of the problem is the nature of hard corals themselves. They are shapeshifters. That means they change shape in response to the environment they live in. So not only are there hundreds of coral species, many of them also show multiple shapes and forms in response to environmental conditions. This is what makes people crazy trying to learn coral ID, and it is why the Coral Finder was created. On the screen now is some of the variation shown by a single species of coral known as Isopora polyphora. On screen now is some of the variation shown by several species in the genus Hydnophora. What this means is that pattern recognition, the tried and tested way that humans learn things, is not as easy with corals. Some key points to remember here. A coral species can take many forms depending on the environmental conditions and habitats it lives in. A coral genus may contain one or more species. Therefore, a genus contains all of the variation possible in all of its species. You can get a sense of the endless variation shown by corals by browsing Corals of the World. This amazing three volume publication documents the environmental variation shown by around 800 species of coral. Don't worry if you don't have access to the printed edition of Corals of the World, because a new, updated edition will be available online sometime in the latter part of 2014, at this URL. So do all these coral species, and all of their natural variation, make learning coral identification too hard? No. You just need to start at the right level, and that level is the coral genus. The Coral Finder provides a solution to this problem by putting everything you need in one package. It is waterproof, so you can practice learning with live corals. It identifies corals to genus level. And it lets you cross-reference 
back to Corals of the World for post-dive learning. In this way, the Coral Finder takes the confusion out of the coral identification process, making every dive a powerful learning experience. It creates a learning pathway that allows anyone to teach themselves high quality genus level coral ID. In the next movie, we will meet the coral animal itself and learn what we need to know about corals in order to use the coral finder.